All right, folks, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool repair game, repair video for you today. Arcade repair video for you today. We're working on this old school Space Invaders Deluxe that we just picked up. And uh, the thing's working pretty good, but we're checking the sounds. We think there's some sounds missing from it, so I figured I would film that and show you how to repair sound problems on a Space Invaders or a Space Invaders Deluxe board. I think we've done a little bit of this before, so you may have already seen a similar video. But hey. All right, did you see that? When I shot the UFO, there was no sound. So that sound is missing. It sounds like the other ones are all pretty good. But we need to get to like the extra, the extra credit sound. Or extra bass sound, I should say. See, UFO exploded, did not make a sound. If I can get a good enough score to get an extra base. But that last one's tricky. All right. Engine trouble, people. Any abandoned ship. Let's see if I can get an extra base. Sounds like all the sounds are there. The only one we haven't tested is the one where I explode and the one where you get an extra bass. All right, so there's the extra bass sound. So the, the last one, let's do the UFO one again. Clearly missing. And the explosion sound is just fine. So that is all. The, and the, the boom, 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 boom. That's all fine too. So if you take the back door off of Space Invaders or Space Invaders Deluxe, this is the board over here, obviously. It's a, an L shaped board. There's two boards. This is the daughter. Uh, actually, you know what? I think this may actually be the motherboard, and that's the daughter board. Whatever. That's the big board. This is the little board. The little board has a, controls most of the, I think, all the sounds. Um, so down in this area are the chips that control the sound. So we're going to look on the schematics and see if we can figure out why the UFO explosion is not working. So we pulled the board out. This one's called the logic board, and the big one's called the motherboard. Um, and uh, the one, this board is a little bit different on each game. So that that big board is the same or pretty close on almost all of the the midway games that use this type of board set but this little board here is the different one and so uh, an interesting thing I saw on it too is Midway 1978 but look there's whatever they use to uh, make the uh, the die or whatever it's missing the S and the C and the I <laughs> this one just says PAE invaders um, I wonder if that got damaged over time or if they did that on purpose. Um, but anyway, all these chips over here control the sound. And these little chips here, most of them are LM3900 chips. So if you look in the schematics, the cool thing about the schematics, for the sound at least, in a Space Invaders or a Space Invaders Deluxe, and this is the Deluxe uh, schematics, is that all this part here, it actually shows you what makes each sound. So this is the missile sound, so that's when you shoot, so we had that. This is the explosion, that's when you get uh, exploded. <laughs> we had that. This is the invader hit sound, that's when you shoot one of them. We had that. This is the saucer sound, that the sound that the saucer makes when it comes out. We had that. And uh, then down here is the saucer hit sound. 
that's our problem. We're missing the salter, saucer hit sound. So if you look, there are two parts of the saucer hit sound. There's the M4 chip, which is a LM3900, LM3900, and then there's the M5 chip, which is an LM3900. See it? So all four gates of the M5 chip make uh, the saucer hit sound, and then also uh, the two M4 gates make the saucer hit sound. So I'm wondering, you know, it could be that just one gate messes up, but if this M4 chip messed up, you'd think it would mess something else up too. So let's see what else M4 is used in, or if they did use it in anything else. Yeah, see, it's looked, up, it's used up here too. See, M4 is used for the missile sound as well. So these two are working. So this half of M4 is working. Now it could be that just one part of M4 has went bad and screwed up the saucer hit sound, but I'm going to just guess, and it's just a, an assumption. It, it's not necessarily. So we'll figure it out. But I'm going to I'm going to assume, <laughs> you know what that means, that these two parts are working too because they're working in the uh, missile sound part, right? I'm just going to ignore that chip for now, and I'm going to say that it's more likely that this M5 chip is messed up. Another thing you can think about is this M5 is used four times and this M4 is only used two times to create the sound so it, it very well could be it, it would be more just a statistical probability that M5 is screwed up. You also have this N5 4006 chip but again they're just using part of it I don't know where the rest of it's used N5, let's see if we can find it anywhere um, I don't see it anywhere on here. I'm sure they use it in some other part too, or maybe not. But um, so I'm leaning strongly towards M5 being screwed up, and this LM3900. These are known to go bad, but then again, these are M4s and LM3900 too. But but if you look how this works, so it gets 12 volts from up here. Um, it runs through the LM3900 runs through the LM3900, runs back through the LM3900, and also runs through this 4006 chip, uh, runs through the LM3900 over here, blah, 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 and then the signal runs down to here and runs into M4. Now the way it's triggered is this chip here gets a signal and triggers it and triggers everything. These other four lines here, this doot, 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 run to this 555, and that's your thumb, 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 thumb. Thumb, thumb. Of course, all that's working. But if you look, those aren't actually connected. The only thing is it runs through here. So it signals it. These, ch this chip and this chip together create the sound and trigger it. And then the sound comes out through here, connects over to here, like all the other sounds, and runs through the the final preamp and the amplifier. So like the thump, 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 thump connects here. They're all connected to the same part of the amp. The invader hit connects here. They're all connected to the same part of the amp. So this part right here is the only part that is actually the saucer hit sound. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to change M5 and put a brand new chip in and see if that fixes our sound. And this is kind of an annoying one because I'm going to have to play it again and shoot the UFO. You know what I mean? It takes a little while to test it. So, But I'll go ahead and uh, we'll swap that chip out. So it's at M5, so if you look at the top of the board, this is row M, right? And if you look at the side of the board, there's another little number. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So this is row five. That's our chip, people. So I have unsoldered the back of it. Let's see if we can get it to pop off of here with one hand without breaking anything. This is not one of my best filmed videos. Sometimes on chips like this too, it's better to just cut the thing off because you're going to uh, you're going to uh, throw it away anyway. You know. Let's see if I can wiggle it out of there. All right, did we lose any legs? What do you think? No, look at that. It came out intact. That's pretty good. See how the legs are all bent up and crazy looking? On some boards, 
these, this is one of the earlier ones, but on some boards, um, if you look, the legs are not straight. They're kind of all bent over and everything. Like, so see that end leg? See how it's bent to the side, but the one above it is sticking straight up in the air. So whenever you, and see how the top ones are like that too? See how one's bent that way and this one's bent this way? That makes it harder to pull the things out because the, um, the legs are all bent up and they have to go straight again to come out of the hole. But we persisted and we came through. So I gotta clean that up a little bit. We're gonna put a socket there and then pop our new chip in it and we'll try it in the game. Okay, we put our board back in. You can see our chip has been replaced in a new socket. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll start playing it again, film it a little bit, and see if our UFO is now uh, making its proper sound. Let's try it again. Let's see if we screwed up any sounds. <laughs> We didn't mess with anything, so we shouldn't have. Where's my UFO? He's hiding from me. There he is. I missed him. It's not supposed to make an explosion sound when you miss. Missed him again. I think you can make him come out by shooting. Right? Doesn't he come out depending on how many shots you've made? <laughs> I've missed them three times in a row, people. All right, so my my free base thing worked. Boy, he's moving. Look at him. How sweet it is there's something about fixing one that makes it even more fun so there you go people that's all we that's all we were trying to do fix the uh, the sound problem so we got this in the other day Cool little Space Invaders Deluxe. It's in very, well, not very good, but pretty good shape. There's the bezel down there. We need to touch it up just a little bit. But there you go. So if you get a Space Invaders or a Space Invaders Deluxe with sound issues, they are very easy to fix, as I hope you can see um, with this video. So leave your comments below. Give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to uh, film it for you. And, uh, Make sure to subscribe to us. We do videos like this all the time. If you got any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them if I can. I'm no expert, though, people. 
I'm an amateur. But we get there. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Space Invaders!